Hello, my name is Glenn. I'm here uh, in the Amazon rainforest in South America in the country Brazil. Um, and at the moment I am uh, in a part here in the forest, just outside a little town called Iranduba. Uh, um, uh, it's going very good with us, it's going good with our ministry. Me and my wife and my children, we live in the town Sao Gabriel da Cachoeira. It is about 200 kilometers from the border of Colombia and from the border of Venezuela. And uh, we live on the, on the Black River, the Rio Negro, uh, Alto Rio Negro, the high part of the uh, Rio Negro in the Amazon rainforest. It's the last town before you get to the border of Colombia and Venezuela. So uh, we work with the Venezuelan people. We planted the church a little bit more than two years ago under the re Venezuelan refugee people that fled out of Venezuela because of the uh, socialism, communism there. And we are grateful for this little church and little group of people in the town where we are. There is more than 700 Venezuelan people there and most of those people doesn't have proper jobs and uh, so we planted this little church and we have projects to give these people uh, a job um, so that they can also uh, look after their families so that they can have so that they can put food on the table we've got a mechanic shop um, project we've got the, we've got a building project where they build and renovate houses and we've got a uh, um, uh, gardening gardening service job in a welding store so uh, at the moment uh, the men of the church is busy with a building project where they are renovating a big uh, um, like a townhouse property where there's six townhouses and they are renovating and painting and plastering and building and going crazy we've got a two and a half month project and we thank the Lord for this these opportunities that we can help the people with so that they can have so that they can have an opportunity to get money to look after their families. Uh, last Sunday, all the glory to the Lord. Last Sunday, there was three young men that gave their lives to the Lord Jesus. They come from a community in the Rio Orinoco in Venezuela. Um, and they are part of our little church here, there in Sao Gabriel da Casuera. And three boys gave their lives to Jesus. A boy of 12, a boy of 18, and a boy of 20. Please pray for them that they will go through with the Lord. And please pray for one of the church members. Her name is Carol. It's the elder's daughter. Uh, our elder, main elder's daughter. Her name is Carol. She's got uh, a tumor uh, in, her, in her belly. And they don't know if it's cancerous. So one of these days she's going to have a surgery in Colombia. Where they will uh, um, then see if it is cancerous or not. Please pray for her. That the Lord will be with her. And please pray for my wife. My wife is pregnant with our fifth child on the way. Uh, she, The due date is the 26th of June this month. The 26th of this month. So it's less than a month that is left. Please pray for my dear wifey with the delivery of this baby that everything will go good. And uh, thank you for your precious prayers. And uh, pray for the Venezuelan refugee people. Pray, pray for the... The indigenous people of the Amazon, there is so many people. The other day I saw a billboard <clears throat> at the New Tribes Missions head office here in the Amazon. And it said, on the billboard it said, uh, If not now, when? And if not me, who? So we've got the obligation to shine the light. There's the favorite song of Billy Sunday, um, the preacher... Um, uh, was um, uh, shine bright in the corner where you are shine bright in the corner where you are and uh, let's shine bright in the corners where the lord has placed us god bless bye bye